So today I will discuss to you or give you a tutorial of the Newton's interpolating polynomial. So Newton's interpolating polynomial is a type of interpolation in which you were, will give in a points and the output would be an approximating polynomial that will fit the curve. So Newton's interpolating polynomial requirements is that the step size or the distance is constant. So the x distance or the step size is uniform and that degree is equal to the number of points minus 1. So example, here I will give you an example in Newton's interpolating polynomial. So given point 0, 1, 1, 4, 2, 9, and 3, 16. So remember that given points is that this is the abscissa and this is the ordinate. So abscissa in Cartesian plane is the x-axis and the ordinate is in the y-axis. So find the second degree polynomial that will fit the curve. So I will um, give you a tutorial on how to um, solve the Newton's interpolating polynomial. So Newton's interpolating polynomial um, so 0, 1, 1, 4, 2, 9, and 3, 16. So this is the x and y. So how to do this? So this is the x sub 0, x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3. x sub 0 equals to 0, x sub 1 is equal to 1, x sub 2 equals to 2 x sub 3 is equal to 3, y sub 0 is equal to 1, y sub 2 is equal to 4, y sub 3 is equal to 9, y sub 4 is equal to 16. So here, um, this Newton's interpolating polyno polynomial is easy because it is um, based on a pattern. So solving the first element, so 4 minus 1, um, 4 minus 1 divided by down um, 1 and up minus 0, so it is equal to 3. Here, so solving um, 9 minus 4 all over um, down 2 and up minus 1. So here, 16 minus 9 all over 3 minus 2. So 9 minus 4 is 5 divided by 1. So 16 minus 9 is 7 divided by 1. So here, solve this element. So 5 minus 3 is divided by, um, to solve for this um, number so down and left and down so 2 so to get this element minus also up left and up so 0 so it is equal to 5 minus 3 2 divided by 2 so 1 so here to solve this 7 minus 5 divided by um, down left down 3 minus up then left then up is 1 is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 is basically 0 so divided by 3 minus 0 is basically 0 all over 3 minus 0 is basically just 0 so, Newton's interpolating polynomial is very easy that you can um, memorize the formula. So, to get the interpolating polynomial is equal to 
b sub 0 plus b1 times x minus x sub 1, ay x sub 0 plus b2 times x minus x sub 0 times x minus x sub 1 plus so on and so forth. So b3, b4, b5 and adding some um, um, adding some factors to the preceding um, terms in the in approximating polynomial. So f of x is equal to so remember that in this Newton's interpolating polynomial this part here is called b sub 0 this part is called b1 this part is called b2 this part is called b3 so proceeding is b4 b5 b6 so here we see that b3 is equal to 0 so b4 and b5 is obviously 0 so we will not so it will be cancelled in our in our formula in the Newton's interpolating polynomial. So let us substitute the values that we get. So 1 plus b1 x minus x sub 0 is basically 0. So plus b2 which is 1 times x minus x sub 0 times x minus x sub 1. So which is equals to f of x is equal to 1 plus 3x plus x, my x minus 0 times x minus 1 that will yield to our final answer which is x squared plus 2x plus 1. So here is the answer in this Newton's interpolating polynomial. So here, you can see and to check whether our answer is correct. So, our polynomial that we get is x squared plus 2x plus 1. So, how do we get the, or how do we check it? So, first, you solve for you substitute it with the x sub 0. So, x sub 0 is basically 0. So, 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus 1 is basically 1. So, correct in the first point. So, the second point is 1, 4. So, substitute 1. 1 squared plus 2 times 1 plus 1 is basically 4. So, correct to the second point. So, third point. 2 squared plus 2 times 2 plus 1 is basically 9. So next is the fourth point. So third, fourth point is 3 squared plus 2 times 3 plus 1 is basically 16. So that concludes our tutorial for this day and we got the Newton's interpolating polynomial, approximating polynomial and the checking that we see that it is correct. And how did you see that Newton's interpolating polynomial is very easy that you can get it without having getting to college. So that's it for this day.